Welcome everybody to episode one of the Multiverse Podcast. Going to take just a second, acclimate everybody on what is going on here, and then we are going to jump right into the topics. If you're on this channel, you probably can see what's going on. The Multiverse has relaunched, and uh, now it is launched with a team. Myself, Jimmy, some of you know me as Chaos. We have Warren. Most of you probably know him as Warren or the Cosmic Wonder. And we have uh, Wes... A lot of you will know him as Nemo as we go on. We are, well, we're part of the team. There's actually a bigger team that comprises the multiverse of what we're doing, but we will be the ones that you hear on the mic. We will all be putting videos and content up on the channel. We thought it would be cool to do a weekly podcast. So the goal is to have you guys a podcast every Sunday. And this is only an audio podcast right now, but we uh, will get it to the point, I promise you, where we will have face cams. It will grow. It will evolve as we go. So you guys in the comment section, give us topics you want us to talk about. Please get interactive with the topics we're going to talk about. And I will let these two dudes introduce themselves and we'll get started. Okay, well, yes. how you guys doing? <laughs> Multiverse Podcast is here. We got a lot to talk about today and I cannot wait to get going. Let's talk about the third guest here. How's it going, everybody? It's Warren. Super excited to be on a team with all these awesome people. A lot of awesome creators here. So much to talk about today. So much has happened over the past weekend. D23, Spider-Man, got a lot of DC news as well. Joker trailer dropped today. Going to be really exciting podcast. I thought I thought the other day that news wasn't going to stop. When they, were, when they were announcing all the new uh, Disney Plus Marvel stuff, and uh, it was just it was just this constant influx. It was a flow yeah. that went on literally all day, right in the middle of the whole Spider-Man, Tom Holland, Marvel versus Sony debacle. I mean, <laughs> it's it's a good time to to be a fan of anything pop culture, no, nerd culture, whatever you want to call it, multiverse culture. I mean, it's literally hitting you from every angle right now. Multicultural. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that <laughs> I don't know if that multiverse Multiverse. Culture. <laughs> uh, yeah, multicultural. <laughs> multi, multi multi <laughs> there you go. There you go. Let's just let's get into uh, the biggest topic. Let's. It's it's been talked about the most. It's kind of died down at the moment because we're waiting to see. Reports have been that they may be coming to a deal this week. Let's talk about Tom Holland. Spider-Man, the future, Spider-Man 3, Marvel, Sony. Warren, what are your thoughts? You've covered it. You've covered it on your channel. Yeah. We've covered it on the Multiverse channel. So I've covered it a lot. I've really tried to just stay up to date with everything. I get tons of emails every day. Just people like, did you hear this? Did you hear this? Did you hear this? And a lot of it right now is kind of uh, like groggy. It's hard to figure out what's a real report or not. But actually, one thing that was really interesting, a report that came out that I'm going to talk about tomorrow on my channel, is there was a report that came out that said before Tom Holland went on a Comic-Con panel, I think it was a couple days ago, they told the audience, don't ask any questions that are that have anything relating to the Sony Marvel deal because they're still in negotiations. So this was after... Everything was. This was after Kevin Feige's statement, Tom Holland's statement. This was after it seemed like the deal was done. So the fact that they told them this before Tom Holland came on stage means that it actually really isn't done. And of course, you know they're not sitting there broadcasting everything that's happening. We only know through like news report leaks and stuff like that. So it seems like the deal is not necessarily done, which makes sense because Marvel wants Spider Man, right? They want more than the five dollars that they're making. Five uh, percent that they're making off of them. I mean, original original Marvel character that they sold. You know, now they want thirty percent. That's the last thing I heard is that they they're wanting thirty percent of the profits that are coming in for Spider Man to be in the MCU. Yeah, I think the initial uh, offer was twenty five percent. The actual Disney. initial reporting was five. Was it really oh, okay. at the very very beginning? Because everybody was like, "Oh my gosh, Sony, you're so greedy." And uh, then it started coming out. Then it was, no, wait, it was 25, and then it was 30. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think right now we're just, uh, we're seeing the public out, uh, outcry of corporate politics going down right now. Um, I think, obviously, there's still negotiations being had. I mean, it, it'd be dumb for them not to because of how much money the Tom Holland in the MCU made. So I, I don't think we're, I don't think this is the last we're going to see a Tom Holland in the MCU. I think that'd be uh, be terrible. I don't think Disney would let that happen. 
um, in that case. So, can we all agree that if the deal doesn't go down, that if if Spider Man resides in the in the Sony universe, that the focus is going to be Venom sooner than later? Yeah, absolutely, for sure, hundred percent. Uh huh. Do you do you think it's a, a a Sinister Six type deal at all, and then Venom, or do you think if it's with Sony, it's just straight into Venom? I think it goes straight to Venom if it's just okay. Sony. Got to. And I if it's Marvel, that. it'd be more Sinister Six. I yeah, that's what I think. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. I agree I think, too. Yeah, because if it's just Sony, um, so, you know they're not stupid. They know exactly what everybody's saying right now. Spider Man doesn't make it with just Sony. Because everybody looks at it and says, well, the only reason Tom Holland's Spider-Man was so successful is because he was literally casted for the MCU, right? So it's Kevin Feige, Amy Pascal, and the Russo brothers are the ones who actually casted Tom Holland specifically for Civil War. And then, of course, since Sony owns him, they get to do their, you know, their solo films for him. So I think everybody says, well, the success of Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame are really why Far From Home was the first Spider-Man movie to make a billion dollars, right? Because he was involved with the MCU. Sony knows everybody's saying this, so they have to do something big. And of course, it has to be Venom and Spider-Man, right? I'm going to play unpopular opinion. And my my true opinion is I want him to live in the MCU. Uh, I mean, with the post-credit scenes we saw from Far From Home, uh, I'm like everybody else. I want this to continue. I want it to be part of it. But there's a little part of me that, I mean, I would be excited to see him and and Tom Hardy. I mean, I, I, I would. I mean, great, yeah. I love I mean, Tom I Hardy. I love Tom Hardy, dude. Yeah. So yeah, no, he's awesome. I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, Wes, did you have something else to say about it? Yeah. So um, in terms of that, I mean, Sony, they, they've got a lot going on with the, with the actual, with the Spider-Man um, IP, like with their success with Spider-Verse. I think sure. they're in a, they're in a good spot for uh, bargaining. Um, they, they really nailed it with uh, Spider-Verse. So I think, if they try to do like a live action spider verse with uh you know tom holland toby mcguire and uh <laughs> that that other guy we don't talk about <laughs> dude that would blow the roof off of even if it was a it, it would be it would be one of those successes even if it was a failure if that makes right. any sense oh it would that would be I mean, that would be people huge have been dying like people that would wanted be so toby huge. mcguire to make an appearance in far from home so badly yeah, would people hurt. would lose their minds and yeah. see, as studios, I think they should be milking that stuff. I think they should embrace that stuff. When you see the the culture and the community and everybody that's just the the stuff they want like that, make it happen. I mean, you only th- live once, technically, unless you believe in reincarnation. Make it happen. <laughs> I mean, seriously. That's what, what if they decide to go for uh, like a Miles Morales? Like, what if they just t- uh, like try to write off Tom Holland and? And just, oh, uh, people are gonna. Connecting. That's gonna be some big backlash. Yeah, <laughs> what, that, what if they just like give us t- like Miles Morales? Like, we're like, oh. we're we're going to Spider Man three, and in the first seven minutes, Holland is offed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's like, He's, well, oh my god, we can't have riots in the theater. Could you imagine? Yeah. There would be riots. Okay, Larry. really quick before we move on, Warren, does does the deal happen, or does it not? What's your opinion? Uh, I'm going to say Spider-Man finds so, Sony and Marvel figure out a way for Spider-Man to stay in the MCU. Okay. Wes, what's your opinion? Um, I have to agree. I, I think right now um, Sony does hold a lot of the, the chips in in their side of the table. So I think, uh, I think they're going to come to an agreement eventually right now we're seeing corporate politics. And I think that this is Disney's plan to just, you know, get that public outcry, get people pissed off and angry. And I think eventually Disney's going to fold and give us Spider-Man back. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one out from left field. I don't think it's going to happen. And the reason is, who is Sony? Anybody know who? what else Sony owns IP-wise? They own the PlayStation. What's the one console that doesn't want to play with others and doesn't want to have cross-play and doesn't want to participate in all gamers being united together? It's freaking yep. Sony. It yeah. Is. And those are the same, those are the same blue-collar suits sitting up there that know nothing and have no pulse on the community, on everything that goes on to the true fans. I, I think they dropped the ball. Well, I got to give you that one because, I mean, look at Spider-Man PS4. I yeah. Mean, Spider-Man PS4. Exclusive. Right? You're not Exclusive. getting it anywhere else. I'm telling you, yeah. they they don't like, they don't play well with others. Okay. Valid point, valid point. Let's move on and uh, let's talk about Star Wars. Let's talk about the the trailer we got. 
the uh, the teaser at the end, and I'm going to start it off really quick because I'm just going to put it out there and I'm sticking with it until somebody knocks me off of my theory. I think Ray is a clone for multiple reasons, and I don't think that was Ray at the end. I think it was a clone version that was actually, I don't know if force ghosting can happen where you can inhabit another body to the degree of, of like using her, but I think right. the Palpatine is manipulating that clone. I think there's multiple Rays. And it all goes back to when she's in the cave with the snap. And there was just right. a long line of her. And when she looked in through the ice or whatever that was, she saw herself instead of her parents. She's a freaking clone. And yeah, that's my theory. So my question for you on that theory is, do you think the original Ray is a clone? Or do you think there's an original Ray and then they cloned her? Right? Do you think Ray that, is that's a, a safety blanket? Else, that's a safety blanket. I think that's that's the easy way. To explain it is the good Ray is the original and then they cloned her, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that yeah. I mean, when you go to Kamino or what's his, uh, Boba Fett was the original, right? Right. They, they cloned mm -hmm. him and, and made the clone troopers. So, I mean, yeah, you ruined it like that. You just, that's, that's <laughs> the soft way out of it, man. That's the soft way. And there's no way they're going to, I mean, you know what would be great? We in the star, we, are we in the Skywalker saga with that actually being Ray, with her new foldy utility Darth Maul esque lightsaber, yeah. and she's bad, and that's how it ends. That could yeah. be. They, they, no, wait, they, dude, they do not have the balls to do that. <laughs> you guys There's are, you no guys are going with the big brain takes with being a clone and stuff. Listen, <laughs> I think what it is. This is a Force vision. If you guys oh, remember, whenever, whenever dude, that's so played out. I know, what? I know, but listen, that the entire series is played out. Like, if you look at every single episode in this trilogy, everything is like happened very I similar. So, I hope that's not remember, what it is. You remember Dagobah? You know, my my man know. Luke sees Darth Vader. I think this is a Force vision, and I think it's Disney's classic misdirection. I think we're we're reading too much into it, but that's just my take. I don't know. No, I actually would have to agree with you because I actually saw a video today from Star Wars Theory. Um, and he's actually a buddy of mine. And he did a video that actually said something on the Star Wars website actually revealed that this dark side ray is a vision. Because it was the background. It was in the same type of cave or something. I think that she had been in or something. I mean, she Ray's been struggling internally for the entire series. Like, this has always been an internal struggle. Is she going to be a Sith? Is she going to be, you know, on the, the light side? Or is she going to be a gray, you know, Jedi that's not on any, right. like, it's not a part of any class? Like, it could be that she's, like, transcended the Jedi and the Sith. Can we well, all I agree that Ky Kylo's dying? Oh, for sure. That dude's dying in the first. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that dude's dead. Well, well, here. So hold on. I just found this. I just I knew I had it. So <clears throat> StarWars.com says, following a striking montage of scenes clipped for the other saga films, the unmistakable voice of Mark Hamill could be heard over the striking new scenes. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. The wise words were also part of the first trailer for the film. But the new footage including a moment where Ray appears to toss a fully ignited lightsaber and, of course, the vision of a Ray with a reticulated red blade was nothing short of thrilling. So it literally says, and, of course, the vision of Ray with a reticulated red blade. That was directly from Star Wars' site, and they've taken that down recently. Yep. Hmm. Classic misdirection, dude. Disney at it again. I gotta know though, where did em where did Emperor Palpatine park all those old school OG freaking Imperial cruisers? Oh yeah, yeah, it's like Ooh, holy, wow. I mean, <laughs> they are the classic ones from from four, five, six, right? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where, yeah. where where? Not only they? where did he park them, <laughs> who's flying them? I mean, if we're getting into the, into the logistics of this and they're they're trying to, I mean, does he have an entire another clone army? I remember back in whichever one it was where Obi-Wan went to Kamino and they, I, I, I want to say I remember them saying it, something like in terms of millions. I remember that reference somewhere in the movie when it came to the clones. And I'm, I'm just wondering, like, do they, do they just keep churning them out? I mean, well, even afterwards? 
Well, so a huge thing, and the reason I, I was going to jump back to the Ray being a clone thing, you know, in the comics, Palpatine clones, him, clones himself, like, all the time, right? He never dies. Right. He just clones himself, and he transfers his consciousness into this clone. So maybe that happened. We just didn't see it, right? And, you know, maybe the original trilogies and stuff didn't plan for that happening. But then, of course, the new saga, the Skywalker saga, they're like, hey, let's just do this, right? And let's just say Palpatine cloned himself, transferred his consciousness, was alive the whole entire time, and he's been building this army the whole entire time to just go kill Luke and whoever is with him. Yeah, that sounds... That's that's a solid one too. That's just, that was yeah, sure. that was a that was an epic shot with all those in the. Oh, it was. That was, yeah. that was oh, crazy. It's gonna be hyped. I can't wait for this movie to come out. What else? Um, what else from the trailer stuck out to you guys? Obviously, everybody was focused on the end. Anything else yeah. jump off the page for you guys? Not really, for me, I mean, it seemed pretty cut and dry for uh, you know a Star Wars trailer. Like, I didn't. I wasn't really shocked about this trailer. I was like, I was pretty hyped, but I was like. Nothing really like shocked me besides like the Ray part, but I was like, this is just misdirection, and I'm not gonna believe you, Disney. I will never. What about what about C three pre or C three PO's red ring of death eyes? Well, so tier one tweet by the way. <laughs> so Jimmy, I, I think stole you that posted somebody. this. I think you posted a picture, and you were like, only comment or like it when you see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? There's mm-hmm. that Vader's helmet that we see. Mm-hmm. Is that what people are thinking? No. Whoa. What? So there's a lot of theories out there. No, right hold now. on, hold on. What do you, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I posted so, the one with where his it, it was photoshopped with the Xbox red ring of death in his eyes. What are you talking oh, gotcha. about? No, no, no. Okay, so right now there's a lot of people talking that in the scene with C-3PO, where his eyes are red, if you look at his forehead, you can see Vader's helmet. What? Okay, yeah. hold on, hold on. I'm hold going. On. I'm going to the internet. Yeah, go. Okay. Yeah, I, I just I can see it right now. I'm looking at the trailer. I just I literally watched this part right now. It, it could be Kylo Ren's helmet, but people are saying it's Vader. It, like like his face, just like the roundness of his helmet, if if it makes sense. So it's like right on his forehead, right above his eyes. There's just like this black little. Oh. Circular. That's gonna yeah. be that's gonna that's gonna be Ren. Yeah, it's gotta be Kylo. Yeah. But everyone's like, oh, Vader's back because I think at some point in time in the trailer, yeah. there's the Darth. Vader breathing, if I'm not mistaken. There was for a brief moment. I remember catching that too. I, right. I, I think that's too much. I think if it was, I think if they brought Vader back and Emperor Palpatine's, I, I think that's too much. I think you gotta. Yeah, I would agree with that. Hold some I clarity. I mean, Vader, Vader died. Let Vader, well, then again, Palp supposedly died. exploded too. <laughs> but whatever, whatever. I mean, I mean uh, we're bringing back people. Let's bring Yoda back in in the flesh. Dude, Come on now. seriously. I mean, well, and then there's theories that say um, Luke never died right it's just like oh come on now i mean do you do you guys remember when uh you watched for the very first time when yoda actually fought and he fought palpatine and i mean everybody in my theater just stood up and cheered it was like it was it was a moment could you imagine yep. if somehow he came back? <laughs> He's 9,000 years old. I was going to say, the guy can't move anymore until he fights and then he does a million backflips, you know? I know. Like, hey. Well, let us know. Let us know in the comment section what you guys think. What do you think? Give us your best theory on uh, Darth Ray. Give us your best theory on Darth <laughs> C3PO and everything we talked about on there. Let's move on to uh, the Joker. That's the the most fresh and foremost thing we just posted. Nemo did uh, a video about the trailer that came out today. And uh, you kick it off, buddy. I'm excited for this. I have big expectations for this movie. Yeah, dude. Okay, so Joker, it's it's happening. And I cannot wait, dude. Joaquin Phoenix is going to crush this film. I I know I've seen a lot of controversy over... You know this film not being a like canonical, which I I don't agree with. I think I think what they're gonna do is something really special, and I I trust Todd uh, Todd Phillips, uh, the director of the film. Um, from what I've seen so far, this is gonna be insane. Uh, obviously, we're not gonna see anything with Ace Chemicals. You know, Walking Phoenix is probably not gonna fight Batman anytime soon. Obviously, it's not canon. It's not canon. Yeah, it's not canon. So, yeah. so he's yeah. not gonna do that. But I mean, I think there might be a still there might be still a chance that. You know, they they bring Joaquin for another film, maybe against Batman. Who knows? I doubt it. But um, there's where there's a will, there's a way. Um, and I think I I, I can't wait for this film, dude. Like, I think it's Joaquin. gonna go over like gangbusters. I think it's gonna do so well 
that they're going to have to do a sequel and they're going to have to do the whole can you top this and they're going to have to figure out a way to get Batman, Batman. involved. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah. Personally. So I actually, when I used to talk about DC on Cosmic Wonder, I did a breakdown of this and just something I threw out there that was received kind of well is the same thing you just said, Jimmy. I think it's going to do amazing and I think they're going to have to figure a way to one-up it and... So in the first trailer, we see obviously Thomas Wayne, and the little kid is believed to be Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. So what if they like just retconned it, just changed it completely, and at the end of the movie, the Joker kills Bruce's parents. He kills Thomas Wayne and his mother. And that's mm -hmm. how, like, what if that happens? I mean, that's that's a good, so it, it's not canon. That doesn't mean that, does that doesn't mean Batman can't be involved, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. just not a part of the DCEU, right? So it doesn't link in with the other Batman film that's happening right now with Robert Pattinson. Exactly, yeah. I, I think that's a good way to end it and, and cliffhanger into it. I think it's going to do really well. I think they're going to be pushed to to do another one. I, I'm, I'm going to be really bold here, okay? And I know until it happens or until we watch it, I'm going to make the prediction that Phoenix is going to be up there with Ledger. I, I really am. I, I truly, truly feel that. I, I think he is that type of actor. I think... I don't know. I think this is going to be something special. I really do. I, I 100% agree with you. Um, if you've seen Joaquin Phoenix's other work, like this is this is a perfect role for him. Oh, I think. it's right up his alley, yeah, man. And, and just just really just, well. the, just the trailer, the tra the new trailer today gives you those I, creepy yeah, undertone vibes. Right yeah, oh, yeah, his his Joker laugh is incredible. Yeah, it's <laughs> so creepy. He's got. I mean, honestly, come on now. He, we haven't even seen the movie, and he already smashes the hell out of uh, Jared Leto. I mean, come on. We yeah, no, I, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's so much better. Oh, man. Yeah, I just because it's like Jared Leto, like the overacting. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like, you know, you ask Jared Leto, why so serious? It's just kind of mm -hmm. like it, it, even Heath Ledger, you joked around all the time, right? He's the Joker. He's just he's not so serious all the time. It's a joke to him. It's a game. And we see it in this trailer, right? Arthur Fleck goes in the beginning from just down on everything. Right. The, his therapist says, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. And then you just see him kind of let go throughout the trailer to where he just kind of doesn't care. It's like, yeah, I'm starting all this stuff. I'm starting this what everyone's calling the clown movement. Right. And I'm going to go on this this uh, the Franklin show where he made fun of made fun of me before. And he just doesn't care. And you see like this confidence just like come back to him to where he's kissing the girl and everything. I, I think he's going to knock it out of the park. And I think it's going to be a really special Joker movie. Well, I yeah, agree with I, Wes in his video. I think the catalyst, I think his mom dies. I think that's where he, he oh, snaps absolutely. and goes over yep. the edge and becomes yep. the the vindictive, like, Psychopath. super, super dark, super, yeah, super I dark. Think, uh, my my question is, what's next after this? Like, we, we know that this Joker film is the start of DC Black. Like, what are they going to do next? Because, like... There has to be a protagonist. There, or there, or uh, there has to be an anti-hero or something. Right. Yeah. There has to be. I mean, this could, this can, you can get away with this one because it's an origin story, mm -hmm. to a degree. But yeah, the next one, there, there has to be somebody that he's pitted up again, and you're almost on the. Well, you've, it, it's got to, He's going to play an anti-hero role. He's always played an anti-hero role, to a degree. Mm -hmm. I mean, same as Venom does. So mm -hmm. yeah, there has to be somebody opposite. I mean, it has to be freaking Batman. It can't be anybody else. Yeah, that means really. What do you? Who are you gonna do? Yeah. All right, let's. We're gonna we're gonna talk really quick about Black Adam and uh, the villain. But before we do that, and I, I don't want a super detailed answer, but I need an answer. We put a tweet out the other day. Who was it? It was Galactus versus who? Uh, it was Galactus versus Dark Side. Dark Seed. Okay. Dark. Okay. So is it Dark Seed or Dark Side? Because I hear people say both. I've heard both. Just People all the say both. <laughs> okay. All right. So we put out a tweet. It was Galactus versus Dark Side. I like Dark Side better. And uh, it got pretty heated on Twitter. So Nemo, who wins? Real quick. I, I got to go last. I'm the one who composed the tweet. Okay. All right. I composed Warren, it. I composed Warren, it. I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying Galactus. Okay. I, 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 I say Galactus too. I, look, I, I did my Googling. 
I did all this. I know <laughs> that we we've never seen true dark side and that he can live in multiple entities and he can right. uh, he can destroy multiverses. I just I feel like Galactus man, he's just he's on another level. He's the eater of worlds and he can do all that stuff too with like singularity and all that. I I I I, I say Galactus, but some people just laughed at me. They're like you're an idiot. Here's my here's my big brain Thanks. take. It's got to be my boy dark side because of the anti-life equation 100 percent as soon as dark side gets the anti-life it's all over galactus gets destroyed game over okay all right that's got to be true dark side that we've never seen right because everything else dark side is an avatar he's been beaten by galactus he's been be hasn't he been beaten by uh, um thanos too uh i can't In some remember some kind of crossover, crossover. Yeah. yeah 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 but that was, you know, it's it, it's so weird with both characters. Like Galactus has been defeated for just by like stupid stuff, right? Like I think Squirrel Girl defeated Galactus at one point in time, <laughs> and it's just like, come oh. on, <laughs> dang! I don't hold any water now. <laughs> oh well. You know, but the same goes for Dark Seed, right? I mean, it really goes for anything because, like, I mean, Batman the has defeated it. the entire Justice League before, and it's yeah. like gods going against you know a human and he's That's, defeated them with yeah. preparation so it's like you know it's like you can almost say anything all right yep. you uh, you uh, put up a video today talking about black adam and uh the confirmed at least one villain that will be in uh, the uh movie warren so we'll let you kick things off with what your expectations are for this movie what do you think about the uh, the protagonist versus the antagonist what do you think about the matchup all that well, for a movie that we've waited for for a, a long time, like The Rock signed up in 2007 to play and produce Black Adam. And it's like, okay, so it took 12 years to get a Shazam movie out. And then they decided, okay, well, we're not going to put Black Adam in that. We're going to give him his own film, which people were excited about. But it's like, okay, now we have to wait even longer. And but it's smart. I, They're capitalizing on The Rock's oh, momentum. Absolutely. That dude's at the top. Oh, yeah, and he's just – I mean, that guy – does everything does, that yeah, guy, i feel like his agent i feel like i feel like the easiest job in the world would be the rock's agent you think so yeah just be like hey i got this movie and he's like yep let's do it let's go it's like okay well i got this one with buildings and like rampage yep let's do it let's do it right now it's like okay well there's another jungle book yep let's do it like okay they want to do like the 18th fast and furious yep let's do it like i feel like that guy's just on board just to do anything if he's got the easiest job uh, the rock's accountant probably has the hardest job <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dude, Probably. dude takes, dude takes like a, a, a 40,000 piece equipment with, or gym equipment with him wherever he goes and like sets up his, his iron, iron, whatever he calls it. Heaven. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. But, but, but I think it's going to be a great movie. I really do. A lot of people thought Shazam was crap, but a lot of people thought it was actually really good. And I, and I'm somewhere in between. I'm on the fence, or, man. Dude, yeah, because there was a lot of parts that I really liked, but some parts where I was like, okay, that's yeah. just weird. It didn't blow me away. It, it, I loved it, it, dude. I there, loved there, that was, there was some good parts. There was some funny parts. There was stuff I enjoyed, but it didn't... And I'm going to get called a Marvel fanboy here, but it didn't <laughs> blow me away uh, like like a Marvel movie usually does. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and maybe that... It, and some people would argue, well, okay, it's DC. They do things different. Well, no. Shazam was supposed to be that lighthearted... Right. Uh, whimsical right. just like where they banter and stuff in the marvel movies too it just i don't know I'm, I'm on the fence it was good but it wasn't excellent to me but compare it to like the other stuff that's been uh, well, that, DC, yeah, of like, course. you gotta give them a little bit of credit like this is definitely a step in the right direction what do you want to compare it to though you want to comp I, mean, I mean i personally loved it i thought it was my favorite movie of like whenever it came out like it was my favorite movie that, that I, did it come out this year or last year it was my favorite movie last of the year, year. Thank year. no this year in uh, april Oh, yeah, okay, okay. This, yeah, this, it's my favorite movie so far. It's it's incredible. I think uh, if David Sandberg um, continues directing this one, and I'm not sure if he's on board with uh, Black Adam, but I hope like hopefully he is. Um, but even David Sandberg, like you could watch a video of like his critiques on Shazam, and he's like he talks about different aspects that like you know that was like in the process of the actual filmmaking, and I really respect that. So hopefully this next one is like the the next Shazam, and if he works on Black Adam, I hope. I really hope he does because I thought he did an incredible job. Um, I think this is a really good step in the right direction for DC films. Um, so I just I, I loved it. I can't wait for a new one. 
You are a Shazam fanboy on another I'm, level. Okay, all right. I, I thought it was amazing. It I was good. It was, it was yeah. It wasn't amazing. It, it was good. It was good. It was well. I, it, I like it was popcorn. worthy of buying a ticket and some popcorn and a drink. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> At least this one was different. You know, like every like you could see most Marvel movies, and I'm gonna get hate for this as well. But <laughs> I feel like a lot of them are just like cut and dry, like you know, straight up like. The Marvel has like a, a how dare you Marvel has a formula <laughs> and they stick with that formula every single time. And I feel it like works. It yeah, it's a dude. It if it ain't <laughs> broke, don't fix first. it. That's true. But like, come I on. Know, I, I love Marvel. Whatever, films. dude, you Marvel pee your does. pants a little every time you go to watch a Marvel movie too. You know, you do. <laughs> no, no, I, I love all of the films, but I'm saying, like, I know what you're saying. They tried to do so. They they tried to step out of their their comfort zone and do something right. different, and it was good. I just I wouldn't I wouldn't rank it up there as something that was one of the well, best. He's That's got the best cool. film out there, so let's just call that a day. All right. All <laughs> well, right. Black Adam's going to be going up against Hawkman, which is a little underwhelming. Underwhelming. That's, um, that's the word that comes to mind to me too. Yeah, and so mm -hmm. unless they really get down to uh, Carter Hall has said to be the Hawkman and going back to, you know, he's like a reincarnated American archeologist, right? So if they go back to the, the ancient Egypt times where they have the, the Egyptian priest hath set, I think is his name. Mm -hmm. And they deal with like this almost like witchcraft stuff, like give him insane powers. Then it might be really, really cool, but it's black Adam, you know, it's freaking Superman pretty much just a darker version. The film is going to do good either way. Like, Oh, for sure. Matter. Yeah. Like, it's going to crush it at the box office. I'm going to make a prediction. It's going to crush it, but it's going to, like you said, it's going to be something where they really have to, the, the sequel. I, I think, I think the next one has to have Shazam involved to, to carry any weight. I mean, well, that's, that's how I feel about it. Huh? I said, well, that is their plan. So yeah. Shazam and then Black Adam. And then I think Shazam two, and then both of them are coming together. That's going to be, I a think great that's plan. the plan so far. And I would really, really hope for a classic Shazam and Superman versus Black Adam. Like that would be just insane. If you want, if you want DC to make a grand movie, right, like an Avengers level movie, have Shazam and Superman take on Black Adam. That'd be cool. Just, just imagine like have uh, like Henry Cavill shows up, dude. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah, just freak so everybody out. <laughs> well, I mean, bring them all in. Bring Wonder Woman in. Bring Aquaman in. Yeah. yeah. It could be. Almost like a civil war. Yeah, because, for sure. Because, you know, it's like you don't have to have all the Justice League agree with each other, right? So you're going to have some people go Shazam and, and Superman and other people go Black Adam. Mm -hmm. I, I think it would be really cool to see. Yeah. You guys let us know uh, if you're excited about that one. Um, we're going to touch a talk little bit. Talk about Obi-Wan. Yeah, Obi -Wan. We, need to, we need to talk about Obi-Wan and then uh, we'll probably end... Uh, with just a, a quick run through of what we're excited about when it comes to all the Disney Plus series and all the Phase 4 stuff in Marvel that's been announced lately. We'll kind of run through that since this is the first podcast and we haven't really, we just launched the channel, so we haven't really covered any of that on the back end. But let's start off with with Obi-Wan. Hello there. I mean... <laughs> Hello there. I feel like a kid again, personally. I don't yeah. care what it is. I don't care if it's a live action movie. I don't care if it's the series or whatever on Disney Plus. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't. We care. want you and back. <laughs> yeah, it I don't care. Yeah. I'm assuming it's going to be set after three, before uh, four. You would think. It's actually going to be in the middle of Solo. That's what they're saying. Oh right, yeah. But when was that set? That was after um, Rogue One, I'm pretty sure. Or, right, it? So, so yeah. it would be before everything. Yeah, yeah, okay, before everything. Yeah, it would, it be, would be before. Right, it would be yeah. before Phantom Menace. What? No, 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 it'd be... no, 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 no. Sorry, I was talking about the original. Yeah, before yeah. the original trilogy. Um... So it'd be before four. Yeah, Bas basically yeah. between three yeah. and four in the timeline. Yeah, so just it's like right, literally... timeline. If you okay. watch the if you watch the Han Solo uh, anthology, it's in the middle of that. So it's like right. It's like if you guys have ever seen Rebels, it's before Obi Wan fights uh, Darth Maul, and and before Obi Wan knows that Darth Maul's still alive. Um, it's before Darth Maul, you know, started the Crimson Dawn, um, or ran that. So it's gonna be like right in the middle of it. So that means like, um, Obi Wan is probably still on Tatooine, um, and he's probably either getting chased by uh the the galactic empire or the soon-to-be galactic empire or 
Mm. He's getting chased by Darth Maul. So is this before Qui Gon dies? This is uh, this is I believe it's after Qui Gon dies. This is okay. after the events of Revenge of the Sith. So it's well, like, good because I was worried that how are they going to make this even any fun if he just went and and well, he was okay. on Tatooine in a cave for yeah for like <laughs> thirty years. Like so, think about it. Okay, we know that we know that uh, at the end of Rebels, I believe Darth or, or like in the middle of the Rebels, uh, Darth Maul thinks that Obi Wan is dead. So that's why he right. like he, he thinks he's dead. And then in the middle of Rebels, or like in throughout Rebels, he starts chasing Obi Wan, trying to find him. So think about at the, in, we know that um, at the end of this Obi Wan series, if it's going to be canon, then he, like Obi Wan has to think, or Darth Maul has to think Obi Wan is dead. Right. Yes. So, and then it go into Rebels, where Obi Wan, who's older, finds Darth Maul again. Well, and we know what happens then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Hopefully, we get Darth Maul back. That'd be insane. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, that would be cool. Huge, yeah. huge fan favorite right there. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm in, obviously we're excited about that. That kind of segues into to the insane lineup <sighs> that Disney. What what is Disney Plus going to be a month like eight ninety nine? Nine ninety nine. I thought. Nine ninety nine. Yeah. And I think right now it's like you can sign up for three years, and it's only like a lump sum of like one forty. Yep. Yep. Cool. And then they have a fourteen ninety nine package with Hulu, with ESPN, and Disney Plus. Jeez. So it's basically yeah, they the really cost. are trying to take over. Just they're TV, they're going right? for Netflix's throat right now. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's huge. So what do you guys think? What what are you looking? What I mean, what stands out to you? There's so I mean, there's so many. I mean, there's there's movie wise, series wise. There's what we got. We got Wandavision. Got, what yeah. if we've got the Eternals? We've got I, I dude. I can't even. I can't even so think. Are we talking straight Marvel right now. Yeah. Okay. Because um, honestly, like I'm really excited for the Mandalorian, but with with well marvel. i mean yeah i mean that too i mean that that yeah, one's we can gonna talk be about awesome marvel because I'm freaking sure blade gonna... dude a blade reboot and that's not even gonna be part of the mcu i mean that's i'm excited about blade yeah so. that's crazy cool um there was talk about that for a long time and i was so happy to see it yeah they got but the right guy key. too they got the right oh, guy. absolutely it looks just if, like um, yeah if you're not gonna get key. snipes if you're not gonna bring if you're not gonna bring snipes back they got the right guy yeah and i don't think they could nah just everything I heard, yeah. So, but Marvel Loki series, yeah. super excited for that. Like that's got to be just it's got to be an incredible, incredibly good series. Like it just has to with uh, Tom Hiddleston back and taking place right after he escapes in Avengers Endgame in 2012. Yep, like they're God too, missed you. Yeah, you know they're, what is he up to? For that, dude, I love I, it. I've seen the plot line, or I've seen the su- the suspected plot line, and it's got it. Basically, it's gonna. Well, what it was is. We never figured out how Molnir got back right. into Endgame, and I, isn't it? This is going to tell the story. It's like a like a, a path of growth for Loki, and right. supposedly in the end, he's this great protagonist, and he gets the hammer back in there or something. Right. So what what is happening is is it's not the same Loki that we knew that died in Infinity War, right? That Loki's dead. So it's 2012 Loki. So the Loki we're going to be following is the Loki who just tried to take over Earth, right? He was working with Thanos. He hasn't gone through Thor the Dark World. He hasn't been put in an Asgardian prison. He didn't go through Thor Ragnarok. So it's not a very much, still very much evil. But I know what you're talking about. It's said that the way Jane Foster Thor and Thor Love and Thunder, the way she gets a Mjolnir in the main timeline is that Loki yeah that's what it was that's what it was right okay so the question now is like well if it's this evil loki from 2012 that we know no way he's worthy enough to lift mjolnir so the events throughout the loki series have to lead to him becoming a great guy obviously if he's going to lift mjolnir yeah and handing it off to jane foster right yeah i'm excited dude it's uh, you and you just said freaking thor 4 i mean come on (laughs) <laughs> and what what uh what's his name's back to direct it taika yeah yeah definitely. taika dude so it's gonna good. be great it's gonna be so good but there's they're so right. many i mean there's there's so uh, what are they gonna do with the what if series are they gonna i've heard i heard that there's gonna be a what if for each marvel movie is that oh that'd be really cool i, I mean I, that. 
yeah, I read that somewhere the other day that they they could they they were going to do one for each one. Obviously, that was probably just somebody talking. But man, I, Eternals. I mean, oh man, people don't even know. It's yeah, I mean that that is that. To, I mean that's on an Avengers movie level, if not. I mean they're they're coming. That's I know it's an origin starter movie for the Eternals, but I mean you're kind of just going right into a a team up Avengers size movie right you really are yeah you you really really are and which is really exciting because not a lot of people know anything about the eternals but the cast is stacked oh dude dude. freaking freaking john snow i know (laughs) black knight black knight angelina jolie i mean uh, yeah it's so right so even if you don't know anything about it you can just get excited that it's just got the most amazing cast i mean it's incredible and then the celestials yeah like they're really advertising the celestials it's gonna be gonna play a pretty big part yeah i hope people acclimate to it from what they're used to with the the original characters that everybody's so attached to yeah i just hope they can like broaden their horizons or whatever, because that's what they're doing. I mean, the MCU is obviously about to open up in a huge, 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 huge way. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. hopefully it's like, sorry, go ahead, Wes. No, 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 you're good. You're good. Well, I was just say, hopefully it's like guardians, right? Nobody knew who the guardians of the galaxy mm-hmm. were really like only comic book fans really knew who they were. And people just kind of gave the movie a chance and then they loved them. Yeah. Right? No, I mean, the, the actors, the actor, they, the, the casting on that, they nailed it. Yeah, there's, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, they here's here's my concern about Disney Plus in general. Like, I am a big fan of the Marvel Netflix series, and those are more mature. And Disney Plus is not going to be hosting mature content. So, where am I going to get Daredevil back? Like, am I going to get the Punisher back, or are these characters <laughs> just gone? Like, dude, how can they cancel the freaking Punisher series? Are you yeah. kidding me? Blows my mind. I don't understand it. Like, there's no way that that had low numbers. There's no oh, way. No, I think it did. no. no. no and, 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 and you know, a lot of people are talking, and they're like, "Well, I canceled it because hello, the new Disney Plus was coming." Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, you're just, probably right. I mean, I, I don't all know. Kinds of right? stuff. It turn into Hulu original series because you know Disney does have a stake of Hulu; they get a big percentage of it. So uh, maybe there's hope, but just just the Marvel, like the the casting for Daredevil was insane. I mean, them introducing the Punisher into its own like huge series itself, like. It was such a great thing that they had going. So hopefully Disney gives us those characters back because I just don't see how they could recast a Daredevil or a Punisher anytime soon. No, I agree. No, totally. they can't. Yeah. You know what's weird, though? They're making a Howard the Duck series on Hulu. <laughs> that's great, actually. I mean, yeah, that'll yeah. actually be good. Uh, Black Panther 2, uh, that's 2021? 22. Yeah. 2022. 20, yeah. 20, God, that's a long time away. Yeah, that's really? starting phase five, I'm pretty sure. That that's, is, so it's the first film of phase five. Yeah, so that's twenty twenty. November twenty twenty two. Uh May. May. What do you guys think the subtitle uh, is gonna be? Ancient Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, third, third, third Namor. Third Namor in there, have them fight. Okay. Yep. I'm, I was gonna say something cheesy <laughs> like a new hope. Like <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying the first Black Panther was bad, Jimmy? No, no, loved it. Absolutely no, loved it, dude. Uh, I, I, way, way above Shazam. <laughs> way. <laughs> no, no hit on my Shazam. Okay, no, it was actually way better than Shazam, but still. I know it's it's apples and oranges to two completely different things. Look, Marvel fanboys, dude. I need someone else. Yeah, hey, hey, we're hey, gonna. I'll play Devil's Advocate. I I liked Black Panther. It wasn't blown away. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're, you're first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's I mean, fair. I, well, I, here, I, here. I mean, uh, I, I, I was blown away by Age of Ultron, and I know it didn't perform as well with critics as some of the other ones. I mean, but I, I thought it was I thought top it was notch. I loved it. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, that's all it. subjective and stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, I, I really don't even listen to critics. For the, I mean, whenever no, I it comes agree. to like well, going to see a movie, like I watch it anyway. I agree. I've seen a lot of oh, sure. there. All right, guys, we're gonna close this out. We're gonna close it out with two questions one of those is how in the hell do they integrate deadpool into the mcu and the other one is who will play wolverine next 
Those are two very difficult <laughs> questions. <laughs> so I, how, how about this, Wes? You take the Wolverine one. I'll take the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Wolverine, they just pay my man. Give him, give him as much money as he's asking. They for. are not he's bringing who? Yeah. Jackman? Yeah. Yeah. They're not. They won't. No. 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 Much money, dude. Yes. Logan, Logan, Logan. Really that that, that would ruin Logan. And uh, Logan, yeah. Logan was awesome. They're not going to do that. And, then, and they need somebody that they can have for the next 10, 15 years. Yeah. Um. Who's the dude? Uh. The Lord of the Rings. Um. Uh. Aragorn. Uh, that that guy. Give may let him be. That's not, that's not a bad idea. I, I can't remember his name. It's something messed up. The Ranger. Cattle. The Ranger of the North. Yeah. I don't know his name. Wow. I don't remember I his name, know. but yeah. It's yeah, Aragorn. I mean, that's yeah, Aragorn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, it's Vigo Mortensen. That's why it's a bad name. It's hard yeah, to. Yeah, it's say. weird. Yeah. Yeah, I think he might be able to be be good. Um, I think he's too old. older. Yeah, he's a little older, but you know, hey, dude, Wolverine don't well, need. I don't. I I, they're they're gonna have a hard time. Whoever they do, they're gonna get booed to start off with. Oh, for but. sure. Oh, for sure. And that's what. And that's why I heard they're kind of waiting on that is because they know, right? It's not yeah. going to be a huge Jackman. It's, it's, and I saw a comment on my channel one time, it made a lot of sense. They should get somebody who is kind of known, but not that known. I agree. Mm -hmm. Right. Not, not some like really, really big guy because then it's just going to be judgment forever. You're not Hugh Jackman. It's just kind of like, I agree. Uh, I, I think you'll see an integration of Deadpool and fantastic four way before you see Wolverine, just for the reason that they have to have some sabbatical, between Hugh Jackman and the next one, I don't. Yeah. I don't think you'll see Wolverine for four to five years, personally. Henry Cavill, let him do it. <laughs> he, he can do Superman. anything. <laughs> let him do it. He's the Witcher. He's Superman, and let him be Wolverine. Let's go. Let dude. him do it. All right, That's Deadpool, Warren. How in the world do you take an R-rated anti-hero and put him <laughs> into the MCU and Avengers style stuff? Well, man. So my original answer. Before the Sony stuff would be put him with Spider Man. I agree. That would it's have been hilarious. <laughs> but now, now it's a completely different question if Spider Man gets taken out of the U. So it's you know, and it's he could roll. He could roll with Thor or um, the Guardians. So that's so actually that was my next thing was a Guardian. Yeah. I think it would be perfect. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> but are, are we also hearing after Guardians three, we're gonna they're gonna kind of reboot that in the form of it's gonna be a new set of Guardians? Yeah, because Guardians yeah. three is supposed to close out the story arc for a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, Rock, Rocket especially. Yeah. Not gonna be a yeah, fan of that one either. That. Yeah. Yeah. No, not, uh, yeah. <laughs> not not sure how that's gonna go down. All right. Well, you guys can answer in the comment section as well. I think. I think we call it a, a an episode one, guys. Episode one. I was gonna do episode one done. Check. That went that went very very well. You know when you do a podcast and you actually enjoy doing it and you're not looking at the clock like when is this gonna be done? That <laughs> that it's that it's a good sign. And I just got a notification, um, a comment on uh, one of the videos, and it said, "I am here before this channel absolutely blows up," which is cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's, yeah that's lots really of good nice. stuff on there. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe. If you made it to the end here, you seriously are, are a real one. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on your notifications. We are going to shoot for doing this every Sunday between 30 minutes, an hour, just however long it, we, we need to talk about the week's worth of stuff. There's always going to be a constant flow of updates and everything going on. We will work on building it out eventually. We'll have face cams and the traditional style podcast. I don't know if Nemo is going to try to jump this out and figure out how to get it on like iTunes and stuff, or if we're just going to let it live on YouTube for now, but yeah, it'll be on, it'll be on iTunes, Spotify, all that stuff. So definitely any of your favorite podcasting app, it'll be there. Uh, just check out the multiverse podcast and yeah, you're going to handle that for this week. Yep. It'll be up. Sweet. All right. All right. That's it. We will see you guys in the multiverse.